Hi, I'm Paul Austin Kelly. Now, I've had a number of requests for this particular exercise. This is, this is a vocal exercise that was developed by Hussler, and it's often taught as part of the Hussler method of vocalism. I won't go into, a, into that now. That's a sort of separate tutorial that we can do some other time. But what I want to do is this. This is a great exercise for building in an extension between your chest voice and up into your upper range and it passes, allows you to pass through the passaggio, pass through the break without, without any kind of effort and keep a sort of seamless uh, voice so that it all sounds like your voice from the beginning all the way up, all the way up to the top of your range. Basically what this exercise does is it, is it keeps the front of the larynx anchored down. You've got muscles, you imagine, imagine, well imagine it this way, imagine your larynx is like a rubber band and it runs from the front of your throat here out to the back. Now, if you were, if you stretch a rubber band, you hold it down here and you stretch the rubber band this way, as you go up into the higher partials, if you're twanging on a rubber band, you're going to hear higher partials as you stretch the rubber band. The larynx works in somewhat the same way. Now, if you don't have the front of the larynx anchored down with the muscles where it connects in the pharynx and in the throat, what happens is, as you stretch these, the muscles of the larynx, the larynx starts to move back. So, in other words, when you're, if you're holding down the rubber band this way and you're pulling it this way, the bottom of it isn't connected. All right? So the same thing is happening with your, with your vocal cords. So the more you can anchor the, the front of the larynx down into the front of the throat here, the more you're able to stretch the larynx for the higher partials of your voice. First thing you, first, first thing you do is you start working your voice down. You start working it down into your lower range and find out where the bottom of your voice sits today on this particular day. So we'll do this. Now when you find that the, the very bottom of your voice where you would likely, likely to be able to sing in public, go a little bit beyond it. So that's taking me down to about an F sharp, okay, below middle C. So if I start there, here's the exercise, it goes like this. We'll start on an A ah, and then just close the lips for a hum but keep the throat open. Ah, Okay, you're not going to make a lot of sound down there because you're very, very low in your range. That's all right. Don't worry about that. Now, what you want to do is make sure, make sure that the abdominal muscles are still engaged so that you're still connected always on the, with the support. So here we go. We'll do a few of these. What you may be noticing what I'm doing here is I'm keeping those notes resonating mostly in the chest at the expense of the head. So most of my resonance I want to keep down here in the lower, down in the, down in the upper chest. Now, when I get up, uh, you get up about, you could do an octave of these even. You could go up from, so if I started on a low F sharp, you could end up up an octave higher. The next step is to go back to that low F sharp and sing an arpeggio. Always keeping it in the chest, in the resonating it as much as you can in the upper chest. Mm-hmm.
there I've gone through all the way up through the tenors passaggio, uh, up through a G, F sharp, G, G sharp, up to an A. And it all still feels like it's resonating here in the chest. As you get up in the, into those upper partials, it becomes more and more difficult to keep all your resonance here. Some of, some of the resonance is going to creep into the head as you go up higher. That's fine, that's the way it should be. Now, if you get up, you get up to this part where you're doing these arpeggios, I tend to like to do these first. I start with, uh, start with finding out where the bottom of my voice is each morning, go a little bit beyond that so it feels really quite low, un almost uncomfortably low. Start the humming exercise down there, go up about an octave, then come back down to the first note that you started on and do this arpeggio. Start it on a hum and then open it to an ah. Two things to remember, always connected to the support, so always connected to the lower, the, the lower abs, and always try to feel the resonance right here in the chest. Okay, that's the tutorial for today. I hope you found it helpful. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.